Hello everyone, it's Deli here and welcome to another vlog video. You guys have been asking some more vlogs on the channel and also some more Bowser on the channel, which in case you don't know, Bowser's my new puppy and some of you guys are like, stop saying he's your new puppy, we know. There is something in the tree. What is that? That looks strange. So I thought it would be fun today to set up a Christmas tree with Bowser. I bought the saddest looking Christmas tree ever from Kmart the other day. It cost me $5. It's tiny, it's sparse. The branches are like really quite sad looking. But we're gonna make it cheerful because Bowser's gonna help make the tree look gorgeous, I'm sure. First up, I do need to give him a little bit of a brush because he hasn't been brushed today and he does have a lot of fabulous hair to take care of. He's high maintenance, like his mama. Actually, honestly, my hair needs some help. I'm going next week to the hairdresser, to Carlos, um, and he's gonna and do something new with it. So Bowser, Bowser, what do you think? You ready to decorate a Christmas tree? Yeah? Yeah? Do you wanna play with some ornaments? Oh, yes! Or do you wanna sit here and lick the metal? I think it's time you go outside and we go for a walk. Oh, you know what a walk is. Come on, Bowser! Bowser, that's the camera, come here. Bowser, come. Bowser. Come. Good boy. Good boy. Need some water? Now Bowser's is looking much more fluffy, much softer, much cleaner, and he won't get any bugs left in his fur or any bits and pieces in there that'll make his skin upset. Do you need more water? Good boy. I think he's trying to eat the flies. Hey guys, so I'm back inside. I'm thinking that we'll set up our little sad Christmas tree on this bench here. And I want Bowser to kind of help me decorate the tree because it is a family tradition to decorate the Christmas tree together. Obviously we're going to be very careful and aware of how he's interacting and playing with the decorations because they are not dog toys. In an ideal world, I would have loved to go out and buy dog friendly decorations, but honestly, I don't really have the time and money to do that right now. So we're just gonna be careful with the decorations. Yeah, let's, let's decorate a Christmas tree. Hey, Bouncy, I got a Christmas tree. Look, it's our $5 A2 Christmas tree. All of the Christmas trees said like A2 and A3 on them. So I'm like, I don't really know what the difference is. They're all the same price. And I got a white Christmas tree because there were no green ones left. I don't really wear a lot of sequins, but when it comes to Christmas, I definitely like the more glamorous and sparkly look. It's like the one time I really go for it and we'll do that. So I've got like little doves. I got most of these on sale a couple of years ago. Little birdies. Hey Bowser, this is our Christmas tree. What do you think? What do you think of the white? Is this like a color you're down for? Let me know if there's any decorations you like. Oh, you're trying to help me open the tree off. That's so sweet. Oh, you like this big one. Okay, you like this one. You just made it very yucky. Oh, um, Bowser, sweetie. That's, um, that's our Christmas decorations, okay? That's not, that's not for you, sweetheart. I'm sorry. So Bowser obviously really likes these butterflies too. Oh, you're gonna get more out? Oh no. Bowser! He keeps taking them over to his bed. He does have other beds 
He's got several birds, but he loves this rolled up carpet and he'll always take his toys to this area. Oh, good choice. One of my personal favorites. He's back into the box, you guys. Uh-oh, this one? Uh-uh. Got another birdie and he's, he's into the Christmas tree. Oh, he's taking the whole tree. Bowser, not the whole Christmas tree. I think he likes the tree, but Bowser, the trees for decorating and for sharing, okay, buddy? Okay? Bowser, do not destroy Christmas. Do not destroy the Christmas tree. No more Christmas tree. Okay, you can have the instructions if that's what makes you happy this Christmas. Oh, not again. <laughs> okay, I think we need to put the decorations where I can't see them. Oh, Bowser, you love these butterflies, don't you? Good boy. What about your Mr. Monster? My Monster Mash. We do the Monster Mash, the Monster Mash. Bowser, don't steal Christmas away from us. Something tells me we're definitely going to need a higher ledge. Bowser! Bowser! Oh my gosh, not the pigeon again! Bowser! <laughs> I'm thinking we definitely need a plan B, so I'm gonna set it up on this dining table. Okay, Bowser's gonna play with the box um, whilst I play with the decorations. You're allowed the box, Bowser. Oh, I almost forgot these LED white bowl string lights. Also $5. If this doesn't have the AA batteries included, I'm not gonna be happy. It doesn't have any batteries. Oh, that's so annoying. So cheap and nasty, I paid good money for this. Gonna grab my handy dandy pink toolbox for this one, boys. This is the tiniest little screw. And why do they make this so tiny and in like, who has a screwdriver this small? I'm not a freaking watchmaker, okay? Do they really even need to have a screw in this? I mean, honestly. It seems... It's still intact without the screw. I just feel like batteries are so old fashioned. Like, I feel like when I have kids, they're gonna be like, oh my God, you use batteries? That's so funny. Are you ready? Ta-da! Oh my gosh, they're actually really pretty. What do you think, you guys? Is it pretty? I mean, for a sad Christmas tree, I think it's looking pretty good. Now there's just one other decoration that's especially for Bowser that I was gifted last year. It's a little chow chow angel. Bowser, you're having a little snooze there? What do you think of this special decoration? Is this a good decoration? Tastes okay. Do you give it the Bowser approval? Oh, I think he does. Look at that little leg go. The good boy, good boy. I'm going to pop it just here. There we go. What do you think? He likes it. Good boy. I also couldn't help myself but buy Bowser a little early Christmas present. Now, he doesn't like costumes, they make him a bit hot, but I just thought, because it's a special occasion, maybe just this one time Bowser would be happy to wear this little hat for mum. Come here, my little pudding. The monster mash. We do the monster mash, the monster mash. We do the monster mash. Now, I'm just going to very carefully 
this one. Oh, okay. That's like, you can look as good as me. Do you want to look like me? I'll get one for me too and we can get a picture taken together. Okay, fine. Take your gift. Unappreciative. You've ruined it, Christmas. No, you're not really. I'm kidding. You're not actually ruining Christmas. It's okay, baby. It's okay. You're not really ruining Christmas. You're not really. You are the best Christmas gift I could ever ask for. I love you. Oh, cardboard. We need to throw that out. Okay, enough of that. Say goodbye. So Bowser just had a visit from his papa bear and ma bear, which is my dad and his partner, who hadn't met him yet. And um, he had a really good time. He was a very good boy. But he has got a little bit of a case of the runs, like his mother, I always have this problem. I assume it's from yesterday at puppy school because they did encourage you to give your puppy treats that they don't usually get and to make a bag of a whole heap of mixed treats. And I thought at the time, I don't know if this is going to be very good for his tummy, like things he hasn't had before in a mix of them. Uh, maybe I took the information too literally, but I... I think that's why he's having a little bit of trouble today or maybe he just ate something off the ground without me realizing so we're just having a little rest now we've been out probably five times now for him to quickly go and he's very good at uh, knocking on the door or doing a little scratch on the door to let me know he needs to go out and I take him out right away if he does that so he's doing really really well so I'm thinking for dinner I just googled uh, what to give dogs with diarrhea and they suggested boiled chicken just plain with some white rice so i'm gonna go ahead and feed him a small bowl of that what do you reckon bow so you're gonna be happy with some chicken and rice all right so i've just made a little bit of shredded boiled chicken and white rice for him bowsy dinner time he probably won't eat it yet uh chows often graze i've realized they're not that food driven compared to other doggies, but he might feel like a little bit after having pooped so much. Good boy. And I got a bucket for him instead of a bowl so he stops dipping his whole head in because uh, he was getting a really drippy, wet beard and that can irritate his skin. So he's now got a bucket, which helps a little bit. It's time that mom has some dinner now that Baz has been fed. So I'm actually making turkey meatballs for a friend and I, and I'm going to have them with salad and a little bit of white rice just because Baz needed to cook some of that. I am that person who uses powder packet rice. I know I'm the worst. This is actually a recipe from my friend Rachel. Uh, Rachel Oss, she's a YouTuber and she does a lot of health related videos, organization, minimal living. You should check her out because uh, she's lovely. And she's been helping me counting macros and micros. So basically I have um, a plan that's personalized to me by Rachel. So I know how much of each food to eat like portion sizes, because I started counting calories or kilojoules and I realized, well, this is helping me with my portion sizes, but it's not helping me decide how much of each food I actually need. It's just the overall number. So she broke it down for me. So I should be having 184 grams of meat for dinner. And even though I haven't been following the daily recipes, at least I can kind of get into the habit slowly again of a few portions. So I don't know, some of you guys will probably be like, this is so strange. Oh my gosh, it's exactly 184 grams. Save for dinner, meatballs and salad, rash, chili flakes, salt. And my mom always lights a little tea candle. So I've continued that little tradition. And then these are magnesium and B12, or B, vitamin B for, to help anxiety. And the magnesium, sometimes I get like restless muscles at night. Magnesium helps with that. So that's my little pill bag, y'all. That sounded bad. Bowser, don't you need to go for that couch? Do you need to do another poo poo? Do you need to do another poo poo? I don't know. We'll soon find out. Please don't poo over there. Yes, we're watching you. Pretty cool stick you got there, Bowser. Oh, wow. That's very impressive. Oh my goodness. You mean business with that stick. You gonna show it who's boss? 
You found that stick all by yourself before? Oh my, what? Wow. What do you think, Bows? Do you like being a cute little pudding? You're kind of looking at me like you hate me with a passion. You look so cute and handsome. I've never seen you look so sad in your life. I can't let you have that on your head anymore. So now um, the Christmas tree is up. Baz has settled down for the night. He's just going to lie down there. Uh, he'll probably make his way to the shower and then I'm going to edit this vlog now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you want to see more vlogs and I look forward to speaking to you all soon.